Hey everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting box here. This is actually from Muse Pens in Hong Kong. Why does the name sound familiar? Because they are the ones that I purchased my Pilot Vanishing Point from. And the reason that I purchased this particular pen model from them is, well, one, they had it in stock and this was one that I was looking for, but two, um, they did a wonderful job of repairing my Pilot Vanishing Point. So this is still the original 145 out of the 600. I didn't get it replaced with a different model. They were able to remove that scratch. If you remember from the last video, there was a big scratch down the side here and they were able to remove it. It looks brand new. So thank you so much to Muse Pens. I was able to send it to them and they sent it back and I got a little bit of store credit, like a little bit to, to cover basically shipping of another pen and I decided to splurge and buy this pen. But I just wanted to update you on the great job that Muse Pens did repairing this and just I'm so so happy like it's just oh, beautiful beautiful all right so I wanted to update you on that but here we are with my newest pen the furore so this is not my first furore the first furore that I have is the aqua petra which is stunning I bought this off of reddit so I'm not the first user of this one but it's just gorgeous and I really like the shape of this one. So it comes in this cardboard sleeve. And I believe the Furore is the one that just has this particular design on this cardboard sleeve. And then you have the Leonardo box. And then you have the standard clamshell. Oh gosh. <laughs> with the use and care guide and then ta-da there we go so this is the leonardo frore in ginger so let's take this out of here so here is my newest pen the leonardo frore in ginger and i don't believe this was any special edition but it does say number 589 and I believe I did hear somebody say that all Leonardo pens are modeled or modeled, numbered, regardless of uh, whether the model is limited edition or not. But what I love about the Ferrari model is the cigar shape. And I just love the overall look and feel of it. The width of the pen is a lovely and it just feels really great in the hand. Now, the clip on the Furore has that really cool kind of wheelie thing on it. And then it's actually very easy to use. It's not one of those clips that kind of just hangs there, you know, without any function, but this one is a very good. And then you've got the two rings here and then the ring there. And this is for the blind cap. Now, I have seen this in other Leonardo models and for me, I, I don't know what the point of a blind cap is. I mean, you can, this is to access the converter inside. So if you wanted to fill the pen without actually taking off the whole body, you can by just removing the blind cap, but you wouldn't know how much ink you're actually taking in. So the blind cap for me isn't necessarily the most useful of pieces on a pen. So then removing the cap, you've got one and just a little over one and a half turns to get that cap off. And then what we have inside is a Yovo number six steel nib. And I can't tell, is this rose gold? I feel like it looks more like champagne gold. And this is in a fine and it's just beautiful. Now, one of the things about this particular model is that it looks very similar to a pen that I already have. And this was actually a pen or a pen or a, um, what was I? This was, oh gosh, <laughs> Lucy's barking at the window right next to me. This particular resin was actually similar to a resin that I wanted an Estabrook SD in. So it's very similar to 
the resin that is used in the Estherbrook SD Cola. And I also wanted to see how similar it was to the Petrified Forest. So let me get that. So here is the Estherbrook SD Petrified Forest, and then you have the ginger. So now that I'm actually looking at it through the camera, you can tell the ginger has more pieces of red in it, and there's almost like darker brown in this, whereas you have the more orangey bits of the cracked resin in here. So yeah, I mean, from far away, you're like, they look exactly the same, but then actually close up, you can see the intricate differences in here. And this was originally the, the resin that I wanted from Esterbrook, but they sold out from their main Esterbrook site. And I absolutely love my Petrified Forest. And when I had the chance to be able to get this in the Furore model, which I do love this Furore model, I thought, why not? So let's go ahead and compare this pen to other pens in my collection. So here is the Leonardo Furore. And then compare it to the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande 2.0 in Angel Skin. And then, like I said, compare it to the Esterbrook SD. I feel like there's a theme going here. And then compare it to the Lamy 2000. I'm gonna pull out here my Sailor Pro Gear Slim so you can see the size comparison there. See the comparison with the Pilot Vanishing Point. Ooh. So you can tell in terms of size, I'm gonna actually compare it to the size of the SD. I compare most pens in my collection now to the size of the ST. The ST for me in terms of width and weight and girth is just perfect and so comfortable in my hand. And you can see actually how similar these two models are in, in length as well as in the width of them. But I also, what for me distinguishes the Leonardo Ferrari from the Estherbrook is that, I mean, the clip is different. You have a little bit more of that metal detailing here and the metal detailing here, whereas the Estherbrook SD, the only metal detailing is really in the clip as well as in the, I'm gonna uncap here now. I've got the metal between the body and the grip section. Now you can also see the difference between the Ferrari and the Memento Zero Grande 2.0. The Memento Zero Grande 2.0 is definitely longer, but also you can see how much girthier that model is compared to the Ferrari. And then in terms of the Lamy 2000, again, in I mean, in width, if we're comparing width, the Lamy 2000 isn't that much thinner. And I find this really, really comfortable as well. And then the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, definitely much smaller. And then the length of the Pilot Vanishing Point, I actually just wanted to feature this because I like looking at it right now. But the length of the Pilot Vanishing Point when not, what do you call that? Depressed, pushed, whatever, um, is very, very similar. So let, let's look at these uncapped. So there are all of the pens uncapped and you can tell even the nib size is very similar. It's both, they're both number six Yovo steel nibs on the SD as well as the Ferrari, but you can tell there's a difference between the grip section. The grip section is definitely longer and has more of this kind of three tiered shape. So you've got the narrowest tier here and then it goes up a step and then it goes up a little bit here and then you've got a little bit of a step between the grip section and the body and then whereas with the memento zero grande there's a bit of a flare out here and then you have the um kind of tapered grip section not as tapered as the furore and then you have the threads the ink window and then the step whereas with the esterbrook sd it's just a small or small smooth grip section to the smooth threads here and then compared to the Lamy 2000. Lamy 2000 starts off super narrow and then moves up towards the smoothness of the body here. So you can tell why I like the Ferrore model in terms of its grip because it is very similar in terms of where the threads are to the Estherbrook SD. Let's go ahead and weigh this pen. So the Leonardo Ferrari capped is 28 grams and then uncapped with the converter inside is 21 grams. So the cap itself is eight. And yes, like I said, there is a converter included 
in there as well. Yeah, so that's not a gold, not a regular gold. It looks like either a rose gold or like a champagne gold. It's beautiful. So I really like that the, the gold, even in the converter, is matching the gold trim that is on this pen. So let's go ahead and ink this up. And the ink that I have chosen to ink this up with is part of the Die Mine Ink Vent calendar from 2022. We're gonna go ahead with Celebration. writing sample. Here we go with the ooh, Leonardo Furore Ginger. And this has a fine steel Yoko number six nib. It's actually very smooth. I like Yovo nibs, so for me, the Yovo nib is very dependable and mostly consistent. So this is inked with Diamine Ink Vent Celebration. I'm waiting for the Oh, hold on. What is Lucy doing? I'm waiting for the shimmer to come out here. And... Oh, I can see it. I mean, it's like... There's a ton of shimmer, I know, that's in here, but it looks like it's getting a little bit stuck in the feed. So maybe there's just too much shimmer. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, now I can see a little bit more of that shimmer that's in there, so... In terms of wetness, feels like there's a bit of an, I, I, feels like it's an average flow. And then in terms of reverse writing, I don't think it's gonna really do much in terms of reverse writing. It's like extra, extra fine and it feels quite scratchy. But otherwise, you know, I think even with the shimmer ink, this will perform very, very nicely. So how does this pen feel in my hand? It's actually very comfortable where the pen rests on my hand. It feels like it's a very good weighted pen. And then where my fingers are, where it rests on the threads, sorry, Lucy's walking around here, where it rests on the threads, those threads are not sharp at all. And it's actually very, very comfortable here. Even with that little step between the grip section and the body is not sharp at all. And actually doesn't bother me when I'm writing. So you can see where I place my fingers is that it barely touches that step whatsoever. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the time when Lucy decides to take out her squeak toy. <laughs> but overall, it's actually a very comfortable pen to hold and that Yovo nib I think is one that, certainly, why is my camera not focusing, is one that is dependable. And there have been some issues I think in the past with some of the quality control with the Yovo nib, but this one is very smooth. And you can see a little bit now of the shimmer in that writing sample. I don't know if you can see this as much, but I can see it for sure. So this is the Leonardo Furore in Ginger, and I absolutely love it. I love the resin. I do... Well, part of me feels like it's very, very similar to the Petrified Forest, but when I actually put them side by side, you can tell this one is more red, whereas the Petrified Forest is orange, but I really like the subtle differences between the two. So that is my review of my new pen, the Leonardo Furore Ginger. I knew I would like this because I really like the Aqua Petra pen that I do have. I find it very comfortable to write with. So I knew that I would immediately like this one. And I'm very, very glad that I made this purchase from Muse Pens. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.